Hi, welcome to um, Naomi's Coffee v Review with um, Naomi, where she reviews coffee. Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas to you. Sam must be Polish, she's jolly as can be. Riding on his sleigh with gifts for you and me. He brings joy and cheer to everyone each year. I said boo. Why do you say boo. Because. Anyway, hello Vlogmas. Um, you know, the first couple days are gonna be real boring because um, nothing's happening. Um, I don't have life, but um, making a cute braided stitch Christmas color. Friendship bracelet, and here, um, I was gonna do, it was supposed to be, like, a red and green, but, like, I forgot that this kind, like, turns, this green, like, fades into yellow, and this red, like, fades into pink, so it's starting to look real weird, and that, I don't know why I thought those colors would look good together, but I'm gonna finish making it anyway. Oh, I washed my hair, but, um... I guess I didn't brush it. I mean, I did brush it. I brushed it in wet form, and then it dried, and now it's this wavy, poofy, um, whatever mess. Um, and, um, I like how it looks better down, but we're gonna put it up because it's annoying. Um, so, we don't care about looks. Back to Naomi's coffee review with Naomi, where she reviews coffee. So, today, I'm gonna be telling you my... How I've been making coffee lately. Okay. We got this pumpkin spice latte coffee. It's not latte. I don't know why I said latte. Just this pumpkin spice flavored coffee. Where, where is it? I know it's up here. Okay, basically I have this system that nobody else likes to follow except me whenever we get K-cups. I just put it in this. So we have a K-cup, a Keurig, and I also have a Keurig upstairs in my room but it's not currently plugged in so we got two in this household we have two cure eggs um a normal coffee pot um a french press and a and a coffee grinder for the coffee pot and french press um and we buy normal k-cups and also we have some reusable k-cups um because we are coffee addicts pretty much just me and my mom and my dad nobody else just me and my mom and my dad are coffee addicts. Okay, anyway, back to the point. I got, um, we got this pumpkin spice latte coffee. I keep saying latte, that just comes after. Pumpkin spice coffee. It's just normal coffee. It's not latte. I did, there was a Starbucks thing that said pumpkin spice latte, and it's like, just normal coffee, and you pour a, you know, a pumpkin spice latte packet. That's not what this is. It's just coffee that's flavored like um, pumpkin spice because at our church they had a pot of pumpkin spice coffee and I really liked it and it was really good so I thought that this would be the same and it's just okay and it's not that strong and I don't like it as much as I thought I did it was on clearance um probably not gonna get it again so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the smallest setting on the Keurig with this oh my god let's have some Oreos <laughs> Um, I'm going to do the smallest setting with this because the, okay, think about this. I, I figured this out on my own. You no, know, like, if you do the bigger setting, that's more water pushed down in it, so it's more watered down. So the more, the bigger setting you do, the, the more watery and gross it's going to taste. So in the smaller setting you do, the stronger it's going to taste. So I'm going to do the smallest setting with this. And then I'm going to take this normal Starbucks Fall Blend K-Cup and do a medium setting on top of it and put in some Starbucks Pumpkin Spice Latte Creamer. Um, and that's my system. Because I want to use these up, but I don't like them very much. So mix and match, people. Well, let's get out the Pumpkin Spice. Um, 
latte creamer. I did have this thing that I did a while that I put frappuccinos and almond milk in my coffee, but um, because I didn't like normal creamer, but I don't like black coffee either, and I don't like half and half, and I don't like normal milk, and I think almond milk is better for you And anyway, um, but, um, I don't like mixing the frappuccinos in coffee lately with almond milk. And, and Starbucks recently has come out with their creamer, and it's a lot better. And I actually, like, it's, I mean, it's not healthy for you, but it's a little, it's slightly better. And the ingredients list is much smaller than, like, International Delight or Coffee Mate. And I like how, and it, it tastes a little less just, like, drinking pure sugar. Um, and obviously it's flavored like the, I, like, um, caramel macchiatos and pumpkin spice lattes and everything that I love. So, here, let me show you my system. This little great Vlogmas. I have nothing interesting to talk about, so I'm just talking about... I swear, we're going to go to Wisconsin again to get my papa for Christmas. And then that's when all the interesting Christmas stuff will start. But for now, you're going to have to bear with my coffee tutorials. Because I'm a coffee connoisseur. So the first step is you put your mug in... The Keurig. It says, follow your dreams. They know the way. My dream is to make coffee. To use pumpkin spice, green mountain, your green mountain coffee roasters, limited edition pumpkin spice, all artificially flavored, hot, cool before peeling, Keurig. This unit is not labeled for retail sale. So you're going to take that product and you're going to plop it in there. And then you're just gonna push the thing down and you're like I said, you push the smallest setting because that comes out the strongest. And then you just watch as that pours out. And then I got push the good thing. Then you take your creamer and you go and then um, you pour some in it while it's pouring because like that mixes better it helps it mix better if you pour your creamer in while the coffee's going in just pour till you think it's enough it's probably definitely way more than enough it looked like more than it was but there wasn't actually that much coming out um and then you it, cleaning as you go once you're done with something you put it back where it goes so then you put it and you take your pumpkin spice creamer and you put it back in the fridge and if you don't store that in the fridge you're wrong and um you'll get sick um, and then you take your fall blend, your <sighs> limit, come on, focus, your limited edition Starbucks fall blend ground coffee. Remember, it's hot, so cool before peeling. This, and this label is not, this unit is not labeled for retail sale by Keurig. So just open this one up, take out the pumpkin spice and put it over here and you don't throw it in the trash we actually um cut these open and put them in the garden because it's good for your soil if you like it just makes even if you garden or not it makes the soil richer it's good to if you have things that are compostable <laughs> if you have things that decompose compostable if you have things that decompose and that can be going out in the garden you should do that um even if you don't plant anything because it's better for the environment and it you know anyway um we're gonna take that and you just plop it in there and you put it in there and then you do the middle setting and if there's any overflow you just take <coughs> an extra mug and you catch it so i don't know if they're oh it says add water so i'll be right back Actually, I'm going to show this part. So, like, how you add water is go on. First of all, I forgot to do this. Um, well, I, I don't want, I'm too lazy to flip over the camera. So, you just um, take the lid off of the water compartment and then you take the compartment out. Some people are stupid and they don't know that the water compartment can come out, but it does. Um, and you turn on your water and then you grab your hose. 
and you stick it in there, push that button, and fill till it says max fill. Okay? Very important that you fill no more, no less, up to max fill. Okay? Got it? Mm -hmm. Okay. Went up to the max. Oh, a little bit more. Alright. Went up to the max fill line. And then, even before you put the lid on, it will start to um start making the coffee and so you just want to stick that lid back on there. Um, that Why is it coming out in two streams? That's weird. Anyway, while you're waiting, you're gonna want to grab a spoon so you can mix it up. I've never seen that come out in two streams like that. Maybe it doesn't, I'm just stupid, but like, I've never seen that look weird. Okay. Come on. Hurry up. Alright, there was no overflow. It was just enough to fill this. Wait for every last drop. Can you pick it up? And, um, honestly, it looks like not that much creamer got in there. Oh, never mind, all the creamer was at the bottom. <laughs> okay, yeah. Don't just blindly add creamer. You have to mix it up to make sure it's all in there. I don't want going like this. Like, it's soup. <laughs> it's not that thick. You can just mix it up. <laughs> That's not really necessary. I'm going to do it. Taste test. I'm just so distracted I'm looking at the camera because I have such beautiful eyes, but just weird hair. Like, I mean, like, my hair itself, in and of itself is not, um, ugly, but, like, when I have it, like, ever since I cut it a little bit, when I put it in a ponytail, it looks really weird because then, from this angle, it looks like this is just actually my hair length <laughs> and style. Like, could you imagine if that was actually my hair length and, like, and if actually it was, like, that I was parted? <laughs> but then you go down here and you're like, oh, it's a ponytail, okay. She's not that stupid. But I think I might put my hair down. Ow! Oh my gosh. So that has been... Your pumpkin spice latte. Not latte. I keep saying it is not a latte. Lattes make me tired. Lattes don't wake me up at all. I love how they taste, but they don't do any. They actually do the opposite effect. I drink a latte when I want to go to bed because it's basically just mostly warm milk. If I want to wake up and I have the option, I get a, a caramel macchiato vente with an extra shot of espresso um, and I will be up all night. I really want a, my own espresso machine, but I don't know how to use one. Beer's disgusting. I told from, I could tell from that one little sip. I'm never touching beer ever, ever again.